Okay, our devotion for Tuesday of Holy Week. The scriptures, John chapter 12, verse 23 through 26. Jesus replied, Now the time has come for the Son of Man to enter into his glory. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat is planted in the soil and dies, it remains alone. But its death will produce many new kernels, a plentiful harvest of new lives. Those who love their life in this world will lose it. Those who care nothing for the life in this world will keep it for eternity. Anyone who wants to serve me must follow me, because my servants must be where I am. And the Father will honor anyone who serves me. When I was reading that, especially with this pandemic going on right now, the thought of dying and falling to the ground, it, it brings a connotation we all think about death and dying, but that's not what Jesus was talking about. In order to be Christians, in order to follow Jesus, in order for us to really progress as God's children, we have to die. And it's not about physical death, it's about dying to ourself. You know, each one of us has something in us that, that needs to die, whether it's, whether it's our ego whether it's the need for approval from people outside, whether it's the need for people to think we're successful, whether it's the need to be better than somebody else, the need to be richer than somebody else, the need to be financially stable, the need, the need to be recognized by people as being somebody. We have to die to that. We have to put that to the side. And, and this week is all about the lead up to our Savior being crucified. He was put on the cross for us, for our sins. And all these things that keep us from serving God. All the, everything in our life that distracts us and makes us want to have a nicer car so people recognize it. Or makes us want to have nicer clothes so people approve of us. Or the right school. They're not as important as following Christ to the cross. If our sins were bad enough that our God came down and sacrificed His Son for our sins, aren't our sins bad enough for us to follow Him to the cross and lay our sins there? So this week, while we're, while we're looking forward to Easter, especially in this time, we need to think about where is Jesus? I mean, the dying that he's calling us to do, it's not easy. It's not easy to admit that we have faults that are keeping us from being good Christians. So how do we do it? How do we really be a servant of Christ? I know how I do it. I come out to this cross and I ask God to help me. I ask God to send His Spirit down that our Savior promised us to make me more like what He wants. To make me less human, less angry, less petty, less egotistical, and more Christ-like. I can only do it with God's Spirit. Once we recognize we can only do this with Jesus, we're on our way to really serving God and being where He is. If we want the blessings of being Christians, if we want a better life as Christians, if we want an eternal life in heaven, then we have to be willing to die to ourselves and grow again so we can spread God's Word. Think about that this week. And if you really want to serve God, ask Him to help you die to yourself. If we each try to die to ourselves and let God lift us up and remake us, if we let the potter take the clay we are and change it into something more beautiful, then all this pandemic will be nothing more than a catalyst for God's glory to shine on the earth. Think about it. Have a blessed week. Happy Easter.